you guys don't think I'm lying, that was the first car with a broken window. This is definitely on the list of places I would not party in. at the Tropicana Hotel and Casino. Neither of us have been here before, so we're gonna go check that out. First impressions from the parking garage. Oh gosh, not impressed yet. But let's go, uh, let's go see inside. Uh, we also noticed at least two cars and a lot of glass on the ground. Two cars with broken windows and glass on the ground. All right, as soon as you walk into your left is the check-in counter. Nothing too exquisite there. Got your gaming floor right in front of you, of course. That's fancy. Went to a lot of casinos. A lot. Even locals. Not impressed. Not impressed. Alright, so this way we got the wedding courtyard, food court, and buffet. So let's see what we can see over here. Again, it's 9 o'clock at night, so a lot of things are closed. Of course, those don't really look like they're ever open. One of the lowest ceilings I've ever seen in my life at a casino. I'm literally touching it. All right, so the buffet is closed, and there's bungalows that way, and it's ends. Oh, okay, that was a buffet, which is closed for COVID, I assume. All right. Have you ever stayed at a like a Super 8, maybe like a Best Western? Turn that into a casino, and that's the vibe I get. So the parking lot was super full, so I don't understand why there's so few people. My only assumption is that because it's free parking, people probably park there to go to other places. Alright, back here we got show tickets, club tower, escalators going up. Let's see where these go. Let's see where the uh, mystery escalator takes us. So what's your opinion so far? Like if a Best Western and a Motel 8 had a casino? Yeah. Yeah. All right, this looks like a concourse over to the conference center. It has a very airport-esque feel. We reached the end of the concourse. Looks like they have their spa, FedEx office. There's some hookups for charging. A really nice view of the MGM. Might recommend staying there. And then it looks like you can go around to the gym. And a few other things. This kind of just keeps going back. So let's take a look at what else is over here. So this just kind of keeps going. Restrooms closed. That's fun. I got a cafe. And then the club towers. That's obviously rooms. And whatever was back here is also blocked off. Well, that was an interesting walk to nowhere. I'm um, not sure why there's a FedEx office. It literally has office supplies and stuff. It feels there. like the... Um... It's weird. So here's one of the pools. I don't know if that's a special one or if that's their only pool. And that's looking outside, back over here, uh, back over here is the hotel casino. Behind us was where we went up to the never-ending airport concourse. Now we're near whatever the Havana room is. Let's go see what that is. And then you get your north entrance, it goes right out onto the street. And more bathrooms, a lot of bathrooms. This is the Havana room. I don't know where this goes. I don't know where I am. We're gonna find out together. Nowhere. Okay, we got in trouble. We weren't supposed to go that way. Alright, so there's one of the entrances out onto the street. And then we swing back around. Alright, we're gonna way away from the area that got us in trouble. We have the Red Lotus Asian Grill. Full pint and a half plate. Wait, full pint and full plate. It's like a kind of a bar restaurant. 10% discount for veterans. Nice. Nice. All right. So the prices are usual strip prices, but not horribly. Yeah, not that terrible. Codfish and chips for $20. You're gonna need that discount. 
you can use a lot of words to describe hotels, casinos, especially in Vegas. Gaudy, fancy, over the top. This one's kind of like, you went to visit your grandparents in Florida. Yeah, so none of those words would I use to describe the Tropicana. Basic, plain, run down, old, 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 old but trying to be new trying to be trendy but old. That, that's how I would describe this. Again, a Motel 8 that has a casino. A Motel 8. Motel 6. I would Super be eight. nice. Super 8. Alright, we work our way back around towards the front. It says there's a theater. Havana Room. We already know that's not a thing anymore. Got in trouble for that. Lots of machines, but not nearly the size of many hotel casinos I've been to. We're back at the registration desk. Let's see if there's anything on the other side of the casino. So we're working our way towards the Legends in Concert Theater Room. That's what they're famous for here. Here's another bar called Trago Lounge. And over here is the Legends in Concert Concert Hall. So they're not doing that right now. But here it would be. Cool. All right, that about does it for Tropicana. We've seen everything but the rooms and the floors, which we're not gonna go see. So yeah. All right, so I would recommend a different hotel. Just being straight up, not the best. I wouldn't say here. It's better than the Circus Circus. Not as good as the Luxor. Safer than the Motel 6 just down the road. So yeah, which I mean, we've stayed at. which we've stayed at. We'll have to do a vlog about that. <laughs> yeah, if you gotta stay there, you gotta stay there. But sheesh. At least stay at the Tropicana. So I'm gonna give this a not so great rating, maybe a thumbs down. So if you stuck with us this long, I appreciate it. We're gonna go show you some sights and sounds of the Las Vegas Strip on a Monday night around nine o'clock, cause that was a quick tour and not a lot to it. And just to back up my second claim, there is the glass all over the ground. Yeah. I'll post a little video right up above me here of our stay at the Luxor. And I had commented that there was a lot of parking garages I would party in in the Luxor not being one because there was sign somebody had partied. This is definitely on the list of places I would not party in. This is not the best parking garage.